Oh my god, your poor dad. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Bienvenidos a la portada si to para dad. <laughs> dad. Dad. No se olvida que tu padre sigue hermanas por si pagados podcast. Brand. Gracias para su batida. Pari <laughs> cuatro el brand. Hermana. It's very good. Um... If you guys didn't know, Bailey actually does know Spanish. Sometimes. Jade does not. I don't know Spanish, but from a young age, we would go to Disneyland. And remember when we'd be in line and we would try to like speak different languages to each other. And we'd also <laughs> pretend to do sign language to each other. <clears throat> do you don't remember Wait, that? I do remember that. And I would make you be, or sometimes you would be the one who could hear and I would be the one who <laughs> couldn't hear. Why would we do that? Which is like... I think it's considered offensive today. Well, obviously, we were like, would be offensive, and I would just be like signing to you, and I'd be like, "Do you want to eat cheeseburgers Stop or talking? <laughs> Stop talking!" <laughs> and then also, I would like, "Is my or my is my sound level fine? I think yeah. it's fine. Okay, it sounds. Oh, you can't hear through your. Head. No, mm-hmm. I can hear you guys really, really oh. well, and I'm just. Oh, I can like, hear you. It sounds like I'm just a little quieter. Loud and clear, brother. Yeah, brother. Okay. Good, but yeah, so. um I have been, my whole life, I've been um, pretending I can speak Espanol. Yeah, I was trying to change the subject, so we just stopped oh. talking about it. Because I just don't but think that's appropriate to talk it's about. It's probably not appropriate now, but think about the time we were doing this. I was in, the, it was the 90s. Yeah. We, what's that TikTok sound? It was the 70s and it was all crazy. That's like how the 90s were. Like people were, the stuff people would say, I don't know if we want to get into this, but we do, I, I literally, <laughs> okay. I don't. Paige doesn't even want you to tell Paige's people scared. about you pretend to speak Spanish. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Well, Welcome well, back to your poor dad. Well, you well, obviously can't choose your sisters or else they would choose a different one. And Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. I'm not choosing a different one. And it's freezing outside. Uh, oh my God. A cold front blew in and it is... Oh, it take is, and hold. It's nipply outside. My oh. nipples were at attention all day yesterday. I had to hide them. Because well, you know I have these new boobs. I know Pick you have those up. new boobs. No, you get Pick him up. Pick him up. I hold him. Why is he, wait, he's busting wait. out of his shirt. He's so I forgot big. to change his sweater. <laughs> um, For those of you not watching, this is Roman. And it's so cold outside. They had to wear their little sweaters. And it's a little too small for him, so Roman, he had to break the zipper off. Your auntie's being so rude. All right. Okay. Anyways. Well, anyways, um, should we talk about yesterday? Sure. What'd what you do? yesterday? Well, you were drunk yesterday. <laughs> I was... You called me and you're like, where the hell are you? <laughs> well, honey, I thought you'd be at the same damn place I was. I wasn't, and... Also, if I was, I think Mr. Robert's family would be very... They would have liked me. No, they would have definitely liked you. <laughs> well, that's why I bad. wanted to talk about yesterday. So you went to the game with Mr. Roberts and his parents. Right. We um, met the parents. I went to the tailgate. So we have some similar things we can talk about. Yeah. Um, and we're recording on a Sunday, which is new for us. We're recording on a Sunday. So this and is going to release morning. tomorrow. So do you want to start? Um, sure. I drove I mean, back. this is just like a really big deal. So I don't know why you're acting like this. Is I'm like just not, trying to act like it's so... I'm, I'm really confused so why you're just like... Uh, wait, what, did we get, what happened yesterday? I mean, how do you guys think I would do on with parents? I think you're kind of awkward. I am kind of awkward. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Tell me more. So I am kind of awkward, but I also think I'm a delight. Okay. I, I think that's I'm del- true. I'm delightfully awkward. Like I'm trying to fill in every silence gap. But like I've this time I was like, you know what, Jade? You're not you don't need to lead the ship, you know? I'm not in charge of the conversation. Mm-hmm. I'm here to be the accoutrement. The addition. Yeah. I'm just like a delightful addition. Don't take away, add when necessary. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I just asked them some questions about themselves. I was like, ask some questions about themselves, ask some questions about, you know, just like reminding myself over and over and over again. But they were very lovely. They were very sweet. Um, and I think I did okay. I bet you did. I bet you did wonderful. And then we went to the game. Um, UT played TCU last night. Unfortunately, they lost. And, you know, 
sometimes I when I get like a quote in my head, I just say it over and over and over again. And I was kept repeating that line from the blind side. Come on, Bert, run the dang ball. <laughs> they, they literally would not run the dang ball. I was listening to the game on the radio and I was like, I just was getting so mad. You are a, an old man in your soul, aren't you? Well, we were in the car. Listening to the game on the radio. I also like had they to did listen in the to 90s. The, I had to listen to the Bears game audio because we couldn't get the video so i just had to use my, my ears and picture it in my mind's eye you, Here's, are, you are a grandpa the it's problem so with me is that i wouldn't even know what they were talking about if i listened you kind of have to like pretend like you know and then once you like hear it enough and you can absorb it enough it's yeah. like oh okay i know it. i know oh, they happening. got they got yards oh, this was bad news okay <laughs> by the way the tone in their voice i can tell something bad just happened i can tell texas not doing so hot yeah so it, going into the second half, it was zero to zero. Sports. Pick me. <laughs> um, I told Nick uh, Sticks. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Sorry, Sticks. <laughs> People can know. I told him that like TCU is a college, and since he's from the East Coast, he like doesn't know like the Texas schools. And I was like, oh yeah, they're the Horn Frogs. And he was like, no, they're not. He's like, <laughs> fuck you like that's not what it is and i was like yeah. no they're literally the horned frogs and he was like that's a mascot it's like yeah that's a stupid mascot and they're stupid school and they shouldn't have won wow he's gonna be really confused when he finds out that you see santa cruz as the banana slugs <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to tell him we'll i just him found know. out about the, the banana slugs um i it's funny you saying sports like pick me whatever yeah. you just said um last night when we were at the tailgate <laughs> My best friend, Vidisha, she went to Ole Miss. Mm -hmm. And so the Ole Miss game was playing and at the game was on the TV, like at the tailgate we were at. And she's, Vidisha's an actual diehard Ole Miss football fan, right? Mm -hmm. So she'll, she watches every game and she's definitely one of those people that would get into it and be like, oh my gosh, run the ball, like whatever, right? Yeah. However, there was another Ole Miss fan that was at the same tailgate that we were at who was... Was, me. Were they she out was, pick me each other? And, well, no, because Vadisha, it's her natural instinct to do to get into the game, right? But she's seen this girl and she's like, oh my gosh, like this girl clearly doesn't really understand all things football, but she really liked that all of the guys were standing around the TV <laughs> mm -hmm. watching the game. So she's right in front of right i'm telling you it's like a little semicircle right around the tv she's right in the middle of the tv and she's like <gasps> she's going around this come on everybody come on everybody no. we can do this we need a score and vidisha's looking at me and she's like silent and she's just like she's giving us a bad name yeah oh, and i'm no. like you know what and that's okay that's this girl everyone this is the other thing i think everyone has a little pick a little pick me in them mm -hmm. right of course like oh yeah like what what do you think your pick me is? Oh my god, where do I begin? <laughs> like I can tell you, I think mine is <laughs> like the first thing that came to my to my head. I can tell you all yours. Okay, go on. Is like um something about like if someone brings up like karaoke, I'm like, oh I like I, I, love, I love I was gonna say I love to karaoke music for you. Like oh if no one wants to start, I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing the first song. That's fine. And the fact that you like just genuinely like beer. See, but that's but that's the difference because that's not pick me. No, like, it is. No, Vidisha you, actually liking football and like liking the game. Like that's not pick no, me. No, it's it's inherently a pick me trait. Even if you can't, it, you can't help it if it's pick me. No, but no, the reason no the reason it, mom genuinely likes the bears, but she like her cheering for the bears is so pick me. No, well, we make fun of mom for being pick me, but like it's like that's not actually mom being pick me. Like it's only pick me if it's not really your thing. Like it would if I okay. was if I was watching a Bears game and we were at like Buford's because it's the Bears bar, okay. And if I was just trying to impress the table of guys next to us, and I'm like, oh come on, run the ball, sack him. Like that would be pick me because that's because that's not what I would do. <laughs> on my on my own at my house sack him sack him <laughs> like i wouldn't do that on my own at my house like i drink beer on my own at my house yeah, yeah but like like girls just like i love the taste of beer like that is a pick me like that's trope. if they're lying no if they're lying that's the whole I point of pick so. me is you like know what you guys lying. write in and say yeah. like is it is it pick me if you are like putting on a bit or if it's 
is it pick me if it's just inherently pick me? Like yeah. girls who love riding the bull at bars, you and mom, pick me. <laughs> yeah, but like in that moment, we are literally trying to have attention. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, this bull is so crazy. Yeah, Ooh. so that would be a, a pick me thing. I hope yeah. I don't get knocked off. Yeah, that would be a pick me thing. And my thing. top would fall off. Like I'm not, I don't have a bull in my backyard that I'm just riding. Like, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but like if I did, then that wouldn't be. Yeah, a that would just thing. be your. That hobby. would just like be okay. my hobby. Interesting. Yeah, um, agree to disagree. Yeah, it's like when you're putting on the bit. That's when it's it's obviously pick me. Yeah, because you're trying to get extra attention that you wouldn't normally be seeking. Okay, what's my pick me thing? You're not very pick me. I don't think I am either. That's good. You are. Wait. Oh no. Hold on. What? Something's coming to me. Sometimes I feel oh, no, like scared. no, it's nothing bad. I just feel like sometimes you can No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> really what's my I know I have pick me things, but I can't really put my finger on one. Uh, but I have a lot. Um I think maybe mm, probably being- something also with like music and knowing like the best artists and stuff oh, and being Def like Leather. i know who's singing exactly who's singing um no that's not them and that like sometimes me your tiktok me. my tiktok is a little pick me yeah oh, yeah. yeah like you okay. you pick but, very but you do it on purpose because you know what's gonna get the most engagement yeah, like the, that's texan, the, point the texas the texas a&m tiktok was extremely pick me yeah and it worked and i it would worked. say that that a lot yeah you know my tiktok um but that's not like a negative thing and my like Sometimes I'll take selfies just to like fuck with um, people. And then that's pretty pick me. I like it. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to be a little pick me. Yeah. I would also love for you guys to write in about what your little pick me. Wait, I have the best pick me thing that happened organically this weekend. Um, Somebody I know was like, oh my God, my back hurts. Does that? That's, Wait, does anyone here know how to crack backs? <laughs> and the, one of the guys was like, I know how to crack backs. Oh, will you please crack my back? And I was like, I texted Mr. Roberts because we always make fun of like pick me girls. And um, I was like, I have the best pick me bit. Girls who insist on getting their backs cracked by large men. And that then is- the guys have to pick them up by their boobs. And they're like, oh, hold on. Let me just get, tuck these in. <laughs> hold on. When oh, hold on. These are hard. My- Wait, Ch- sorry. My boobs are just so. <laughs> if you can reach around them let me know but if not you can go under. it's okay if you need to touch them. <laughs> gross yeah so that one was pretty funny and like because he'll have sports on at his house and i'm like he'll oh my god wait he'll have sports on mr just, roberts yeah just, he'll just have sports on oh yeah like, like just the sports channel yeah he'll just have sports and I'm like, when I walk in, I'm like, oh my God, thank you so much. I love sports so much. And he's like, I did this for you. <laughs> so that's, but I'm obviously, I'm like being fake pick me in that right. moment. Right, right. I don't, yeah. I didn't know if I needed to spell that out for you guys. I I'm, think I'm cool. It. I'm cool. <laughs> um, okay. So anyways, the other thing about the tailgate yesterday that I really enjoyed yeah. is um, I saw Third Eyed Blind. I saw that. And I didn't realized how many third eye blind songs i actually knew (laughs) but then once i got there and i was like transmitted like back to the 90s or something i was like i know i wish you would step back from that ledge my friend (laughs) i was just so excited you were being pick me for third eye blind um she just was having a private moment with third eye blind here's the thing here's the other thing about music right when you're at, when you're at a concert because it was so weird i'm walking to the tailgate and i'm like oh yeah like like i'll go see the concert right and then all of a sudden as soon as i get into onto the lawn i was one with the concert you were concert page yeah i was concert page and she had a great time that um, was really fun yeah that did look really fun and third eye blind is one of those fan uh, those bands that kind of like show up at colleges and they Do play you know for how free? old the lead singer is 50 do you have a guess? 58? Holy shit, he's 58. Oh my god. <laughs> How did you do that? I'm brilliant. You're a goddamn genius. I love Third Eye Blind. <laughs> I swear to God. Sometimes she scares me. She is pretty damn smart. 
That's my party trick. I say my sister's smart. She went to UT. She got a really good score in her SAT. That's all I got. My sister's so smart. <laughs> Not me, but my sister's so also, smart. Also, I love that like she went to UT. Like I'm not like flexing. She went to Harvard. I'm like she got into she UT. Into UT. <laughs> Listen, it, it ain't easy getting into no, UT. Also, honey, it's not easy getting into Purdue. That's like it's a little easier. Guys, let's really just like not talk about our colleges. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, like no reason to like talk about the past. Okay, if, let's talk about UT for a second because one thing I like about UT is their the cur- the commitment, <laughs> okay, the commitment to the bit, like they are so committed to the Western bit. Like the girls are all wearing their chaps and mm-hmm. like, which is hot. Like I would, the cowgirls, it's really cute. Yeah, and then like the boys, what are they call them? The, the boys? cowboys. Oh, they're called cowboys. Yeah, the ones that take care of Bebo. What, what yeah, do, what do we call them? <laughs> and then you have a Longhorn. Yeah, as your mascot, and he's there, and he's literally there, and also he looks so much like Hank. Like, mm. imagine Hank with horns coming Hank out. Hank should be Bebo for Halloween. I literally said that this morning. I was like, Hank is going to be Bebo next year for Halloween. Oh, that's cute. And okay. I'll get him a little nose strap. and like. Wait, and then Tiger and Roman can be his cowboys. <gasps> cowboys. <laughs> get rude. <laughs> we can get them little chaps and little cowboy hats. <gasps> and oh they can they can run along next to yes. Hank. Oh, we can make Roman a little lasso. Wait, so does that mean Tiger? that we are going to be the cowgirls, the cheerleaders? Yes. Oh, we could be like from um, Man of the House, the Tommy Lee Jones and the girls, the cheerleaders, this witness and murder. They go, who's Tommy Lee Jones? Who's going to be? <laughs> <laughs> like, who's, dude, Why can't we all just be the cheerleaders? <laughs> this is such an obscure um, reference. Never mind. I thought you guys have seen that movie. I have seen I know, I have, the, I I know the movie. The girls are the cheerleaders. It's cute. I'll yeah. be Tommy Lee Jones. But why does one of us have to be Tommy <laughs> Lee Jones? Why can't we all just be cheerleaders? This you costume sounds like it's going to require a lot of explaining. Like we could, first we wanted my dog to be Bevo, and then we no, talked about. Man I don't of the think. House. I think the exact opposite. I think anyone in Austin sees us and they go, "I know exactly no, who they are." No, because Tommy because Lee we're not. No, she's not going to be Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> I don't need to be Tommy Lee Jones. God damn it! Listen, I'll just we're be a cheerleader. Gonna, we're not going to keep being boys each year. We'll uh, be girls next year. Yeah. But then also, UT has culty vibes. Like, oh, yeah. everyone around us, like, they were, the way they were talking about the game, I was like, this is insane. Okay, well, you know why, right? I was actually talking about this this weekend, and now we have the Austin FC soccer team, but really, forever, it's only been the college football games that the whole city has. I know, yeah. but you like... Know? That doesn't mean that we need to be like, it's like they were, we were worshiping at the altar of Bevo yesterday. Okay, but it is not as bad as like AM. AM is oh. like creepy culty. Well, it's UT also is like, like hee hee, let's lean in. It's also just, yeah, yeah fun to lean. When you're at a tailgate or at a game, it's fun That's to just true. pretend like I fucking love UT. Let's go, baby. I like will die for Bevo. Yeah, it's Hook just, em. and then you, I put leave, my heart then you walk out of the game. And then you're a normal person again. Yeah. I feel as though I have a connection to UT at least because of Bailey. Mm-hmm. Me too. So it's like I have that, but like imagine just being a fan. Yeah. I mean, there's Looking. a lot of them, I think. Yeah. Did you do all the cheers? And also um, one thing that – here, the last things I'll say about this. Okay. Um, them bringing Bevo out and like running him out, I was like – sad for him mm, this is sad mm-hmm. like does Bevo like it because i think hank would like it <laughs> hank, hank would be like attention. oh my goodness this is the whole crowd is cheering for me and he'd be really happy but like does i don't know if, i think cows are more, more stoic than golden retrievers actually i have three things i have to say okay okay that was first point okay <laughs> number two is you know in between like um when they make plays and the cow comes out and it's like mm, and then like the horns like thrash the other yeah. teams like like that's all Bevo can do he can't like tear it with like a claw or anything he has to thrash the other team with his horn mm-hmm. yeah you wish that he had more powers well it's just like culty vibes oh okay. like, and everyone's like yeah Bevo <laughs> well, like, but I think impale the other thing you're missing is that <laughs> any sports game ever does the same thing well Purdue it's just like choo choo we go boiler <laughs> up <laughs> We don't do, we're not like, the train's not running over the other team. Okay, that would be funnier. About, but think about, like, the Bears, wasn't there, like, 
bad. Like yeah, but like that's a it's bear, like, and it's, he's taken down with his paw. But I'm saying it's not really culty vibes. It's just like every sports team has, has culty vibes. Has something sports, like that. It's like we, our team, even if we suck, we're the best. Sports you know? are just culty vibes in general because yeah. you have to like dedicate your life and your soul. Like Dad has sold his soul to the Chicago Bears. Right. Exactly. And that's just a part of it. We'll get there. And we will get there one day. We will get there. When you get your poor dad to Soldier us, Field. To Soldier, Soldier Field. Soldier Field, I'm looking at you. I found you on Instagram. I'm looking at you. Um, the last thing I will say about yesterday is it brought I'm why is there no school that has a golden retriever mascot? Think about A&M how cute, does, isn't it? They have hey, a, co- you, a collie it, dog. It sounds oh. like you need to start a school. Okay. J B okay. your poor dad, you. YPDU. 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 And we have we have a shaft and two little balls. And it's me and Paige and you. And then also the Frenchies and Hank. Are you guys the balls and I'm the tall shaft in the middle? Yes. Yeah. And then you're also Hank. And then yeah. we're Tiger and Roman. Yeah. Because we're meat. Tiger poles. and Roman. Yeah. We're Tiger and Roman. Okay. Anyways, that's enough for me. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. Well, um, you know, something else uh, that's happened with me this week okay. is um, I just want to give a shout out to our fourth Brant sister, Brenna, because she slid into our email and she said, Paige, I want to hook you up with my brother. And I can't remember exactly what she said. She said something like, he likes beer, you like beer. He's 30, you're 30. He likes concerts, you like concerts. It was just yeah. something very funny. Um, and I said... Well, then she sent some pictures. Yeah. And we and, and I said, I was read the email first and I was like, you got to see this guy. He's 6'4 and he is cute. He's <laughs> cutie pie. And so I said, this is Paige. I approve this message. How do we make this happen? Um, and he 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 texted me. He texted me. And um, so far, so good. That's nice. So, okay. so what's so, the plan? What do you mean? What's the plan? Like, is he coming out here? Where does um, he live? Are we going to do a FaceTime date? Okay. We are we all gonna go on a date with him? We, we could stand behind you and do cue cards like say this, say tell him his hair looks sexy, push back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. We we it's just been a couple days that we started texting, so we'll see how it goes. I think wow, he fun. I think he's funny. He's a very good texter, which I appreciate because something about me is sometimes people annoy me over text message because mm-hmm. they're too short. Hey, how, how are you doing? How was your day? You can be Fine. short via text. Yeah. Well, that's I was when people say, piss me off. You also don't like so texting just, conversations like during the week. But that's, but that's um, something that, that can depends change. on your mood. It depends on my mood. It depends, <laughs> depends on, on the day. You, and if you actually like the person you're texting. Yeah. Yeah. So far, he seems like a great guy. So we'll nice. see if we... Imagine the stories we could tell at your wedding. Now we're getting married. Yeah. Probably. Bailey and I will be like, we never thought this podcast would turn into love, but here we are. Why? <laughs> you know, like those. And here we are. Why do we have to be like that? Because, you know, like those. Pick uh, me. Pick me. You know, those girls on TikTok that do like the um, fake like wedding speeches like Jason. <laughs> I can't believe after all these years. We're standing here today. I would never expect that meeting at that Chili's in 1999 would result in this. Wow. I haven't wow. seen those TikToks, but now I feel like I don't even need to. You just did yeah. such a good job. I'll just recite every video on TikTok to you guys. Okay. That's all Catch me I up. do. Yeah. Anyway, so that's really exciting. So we'll see. Maybe we'll FaceTime. Maybe we'll actually hang out one day. We I don't hope know. so. I hope it's, he makes the trip. She did say he loves driving long distances for girls. Yeah, and she said that he has friends and family that live in Austin. So perfect. And I'm sure Southwest flies. And I did say, um, when are you coming to Austin? And mm-hmm. he said, I don't know. I've been thinking about that recently. Recently. <laughs> I've been talking about that. That's I've been thinking about that recently. That's how I think he sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking about that. Recently. Ew. What if he does sound like that? You should FaceTime him first. Yeah. Okay. Everybody, 
needs to calm down. Nobody's Ooh. not calm down. <laughs> so it sounds calm like calm down. <laughs> Everyone needs to <laughs> calm. Everyone needs to calm down. Anyways, I'm excited, so that's fun. Um, Bailey, what's up with you? <laughs> <laughs> Bailey, do you want to talk? Sure. Um, Come on, love girl, speak. All right. Um, so what is up with me? Oh, I went on a really good date last night. To where? So Sticks just bought a van last week. And it's like an old van that he wants to make into like a little camper van situation. A love wagon. Yeah, a shag and wagon. Shag, uh, shag and wagon. Ooh, yeah, that's better. Yeah. That's the word that it was. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> so we went to the drive-in movie theater. Ooh. We like blew up a little air mattress and had a bunch of blankets. It was very cold. I was glad I took like a lot of extra blankies because um, we had the door open and it was like thirty degrees. And I was like, this is fine. This is um romantic but we had some wine we didn't have any food because the sushi didn't get there in time so he was oh, really man. hungry but it was really good we saw home alone ever heard of it yeah i've That's seen it once one. or twice they're also doing um christmas vacation <gasps> and so i think when? we should go back um they have like a bunch of different showings we could all we can all go in the shagging wagon together yeah. speaking of christmas vacation i saw that mr roberts posted on instagram yesterday and so then i responded with a picture of Bailey. Bailey and I said that's what Bailey was for I think I said Halloween but now that I think about it we just did that for Christmas it's for mm-hmm. Christmas yeah um but confusing but I sent him a picture of you and we'll yeah. see if we'll see what he can do with it but I think I mean <laughs> you did I don't think anyone could do it better than you oh I, I was perfect yeah I don't think he could do it better than you is he trying to be cousin Eddie? I think he is well, good luck. Are we going to do a Christmas vacation party this year? We probably should. Should I invite Mr. Ron? Probably. Shit. Yeah. Um, one of the last things I want to say before we like, you know, get into our stories and stuff is I finally watched Where the Crawdads Sing. <gasps> Have you seen it? Okay. I just saw the first like I fell asleep watching it. last. Did night. you read the book? Yes. Okay. I didn't. So I, ha- I had no idea what it was about. Yeah. At all. How, how far did you get in? Um, only like 20 minutes. Okay. Definitely watch it. It looked really good from what I, I saw. I cried so many times. So I did not expect it to be a crying movie, but I cried, I think three different times. It's wow. really a sad book because she's just a lonely girl. That's that's what I said. In, but it's worse than just saying how lonely she was. It's, you have to see how many times she was abandoned. And I was like... <laughs> Oh, by the mom, by the brother, by like by all of her siblings, by the dad, siblings. by every any person that's. Oh my gosh, it was just <laughs> like, like imagine the trauma. I and then she like finally trusts one person. Oh, don't even get me started. Yeah, you need. I just, have you read the book? No, I haven't read it, and oh I haven't gosh, seen the movie. You should read it. I think I can loan it to you on Kindle. I have a Kindle. I just really, really liked I it. Have a um, and it's a good one. It's a like, it's a rewarded book. Yeah. Oh. An awarded book. And an awarded book. It's it <laughs> one awards. I love literature. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love movies and it was really good. <laughs> it was really good. Um, and then, of course, Taylor Swift has the song that plays during the credits. She oh, wrote the original song. Caroline. Now you know Close. why the song is, um, why it's like so moody. Well, I knew that it was going to be like haunting. something, you know, like a like like a mystery like it's like i knew that was like going to be a thing i just didn't know it was going to be so sad well does she die does someone die bailey i just can't talk about it until you i think you should just read read the book read or watch um (sighs) also the way like all of their um at least from what i saw like the scenery and stuff is exactly how i pictured it in my mind which is really good that means like that's a very good author that like she was so descriptive without being like, you know, too annoying about it, which I hate. Yeah. One of the, one of the guys in the movie, I started following him on Instagram. Is he hot? Is he hot? He he is, but he's also, he's. (laughs) 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 Oh God. He's also only 25 and. Oh, that's not. And, too young for you. Oh, honey, that's too young for honey, me. Honey, it's five years. Since when? But honey, that's five years. Uh, uh, no, but a it, lot can happen in five years. It was just so crazy to me because um, he's only 25 years old and he had to do all this, all of the different press things that he did for 
where the crawdads sing and he's with Reese Witherspoon. And it's like, I can only imagine he must just be thinking this is nuts. Yeah. But how did this, be. how did this happen? Anyways, it was really cool. Um, which also brings me to my last point is when this comes out tomorrow, that means that Taylor Swift tickets go on sale the next day, like tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. So what's our plan? The plan is we're going Arlington, Arlington, Denver. We, we that's get, our priority. We get in the waiting room. Jesus. And we, we buy. And that's how much I am. We, we willing, buy what we can. And I, that's VIP how much first. I am. <laughs> floor. <laughs> we're spending what we need to spend. <laughs> okay. We wow. do what we need to do. To, to do. Unless Soldier Field, to unless do, you do. want to. Um, <clears throat> hi, Soldier Field. <laughs> unless you would like to bring us to the eras tour at soldier field we will we literally would sell our that. little content souls for you yeah look i talk about the bears every episode hey what do you know i have i have something about the bears right now um but seriously <laughs> please bring us to the eras tour please. in chicago get your poor please. dad to the eras tour in get chicago your poor dad please to soldier field can we just be at the soldier field tour? ambassadors already can Jesus. we do you think any one knew that the bears even played at soldier field until us probably do not think, <laughs> I, yeah do you think anyone knew besides maybe bears i'm fans? gaslighting the soldier field <laughs> <laughs> do you think anyone knew that they even had an instagram we just talked about follow it. them here i implore all the fourth brand sisters to follow soldier field on instagram and tag your poor dad on everything every post every just single post just see what we can get from it um but speaking of the bears and then we could like oh and then we could do giveaways with the fourth Brant sisters and we could bring them with us to Soldier Field every week if we're ambassadors. Do we have to move to Chicago? No, we'll just go there. Just every a quick flight. Wait, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Really but we, cold. but it's not too cold for us to go. But we will still go. But we'll still go. And honestly, we'll buy our own jacket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to buy our jackets. We'll bring our own jackets. Get your poor dad to Soldier Field and we'll get your poor dad's jacket your poor dad jackets um so anyways <laughs> speaking of soldier field and the bears um so we talked last week how our poor parents actually <laughs> went <laughs> to the bears game at soldier field it was quite bussy, 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 bussy. Uh, <laughs> oh you blew it you mm -hmm. took away the good we wasted the good sneeze on you <laughs> ew um anyways we um it was quite a sight to see we weren't actually there because you know soldier field hasn't actually gotten us there yet <laughs> yeah um, but, and soldier field didn't really get our parents but there, we though. we got our parents to soldier field um but what i wasn't expecting is mom and dad didn't just want to go in their like fan gear um they took it to the next level i As think that's something a does. we do yeah. i take it too like, far for Christmas, we had to make everyone dress up. We couldn't just have a nice Christmas celebration. And it's like Mom, for us. Yeah. It's not for yeah, anyone else. Yeah, it's literally no. just for us. So um, dad was Ditka and then mom was Jim McMahon. Yeah. And we didn't know who Jim McMahon was. Yeah, well, come on. We're Bears fans. <laughs> we know. You know what? And that's what we're here for. We are teaching everybody who wants to know we're a learning. little bit about the Bears. He was a really good player. <laughs> <laughs> He sacked so many quarterbacks. I think he, he was the quarterback. Definitely. He never got sacked. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a little sad because um, they did lose. Yeah, but, that was a bummer of a game. <laughs> but it was a really close game. But let me tell you this. Actually, what time is it? As we record this, the, the Bears game has started. And they're playing the Lions. And they are playing again at Soldier Field. Shout out, Soldier Field. Um, <laughs> But th I really think we might have a chance of winning this one because our, we'll we'll see. our record is three and six, but the Lions record is only two and six. Oh. So guys, so they're worse than us. <laughs> I'm thinking we have a chance. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> those are all my notes. Okay, <laughs> cool. cool. So this week we decided to talk about Vegas. And Vegas is holds such a special place in my little heart because we started going there with our grandmother r.i.p Gigi, um she's not with us anymore <laughs> that's what she meant by r.i.p i'm also pretty sure we told them last week 
<laughs> that you just <laughs> did. Because I was like, the I was the like, I was supposed sister. to study abroad, and then I didn't because Gigi got sick, and so I didn't want to leave the country. <laughs> Death is not funny. We really was Gigi. Death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> oh my god. So, anyways, Gigi used to go to Vegas, and I just remember loving Vegas. We'd always stay at the Treasure Island, which is kind of white trash now, but it felt so chic and luxurious when we, we were, were younger. Also, like seven. Yeah. And I'm sure like our parents just got free rooms because our deadbeat grandfather just like gambled his life away there. So they were like, here, here's a room. Yeah. And they would do like this like pirate show. I think they still do it every night in front of the hotel. So it was like Disneyland. And then I got a little older and then I started doing Vegas like a little And then you got those puffy nipples. (laughs) And then my nipples. Well, no, I would go to Vegas with the puffy nipples. And oh, I took them with you. Insert picture. Um, with that is my peak puffing. puff it's just the peak puff um puff peaks <laughs> puffy peaks. but it's also just like those glasses yeah i thought it was the hottest girl ever they were so lucky to be and you can tell you. my like my face the way i'm standing i'm like you're I like I'm they sexy. want me <laughs> yeah there's a picture too one of those pirates was like holding me like, <laughs> mom, like gave me to them <laughs> It's so weird. <laughs> Wait, so like, I wonder, if, am I even in the picture? You are. You're standing right next to me, but you're kind of <laughs> like, no offense, I'm stealing the shot. Yeah. I mean, if you had puffy nipples, like, I don't, I, I was just a baby. You were a baby, yeah. Um, I was specifically, I remember, I think in like fifth grade in that picture. Oh, man. But um, I've had a lot of Vegas experiences because living in California, you're only like a four hour drive. Mm-hmm. And so think about all the possibilities in four hours, just right at your little fingertips. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite, my favorite things about going to California, I mean, Vegas, living in California, going to Vegas was the big thermometer, always seeing the big thermometer. Mm-hmm. It's very exciting. And then uh, the state line roller coaster. roller coaster. You know, what's really weird about me? What? Is I like roller coasters, but there was one time I was driving to Vegas and it might have been for my cheer competition or something, but I was going or something, but I was going with uncle and I was really excited that I was getting to drive, make the drive with uncle to Vegas. And he was pretty pumped about it too. And we go to state line and all of a sudden I'm scared and I don't want to ride a roller coaster. (laughs) And he's like, Paigey, yes, you do. You Paigey. love roller coasters. And I was like, no, I'm scared. And I didn't, I didn't go. Aww. And I didn't, and I, I was like, please don't make me go. Why did, why did that happen? To, like that happened to me with sleepovers. Like all, I was sleeping over and then all of a sudden I'm scared to sleep over. I ride roller coasters. All of a sudden I'm scared of roller well, coasters. Maybe you were scared because you're, you weren't with like the rest of your, like your sisters and your mom. Yeah, and but dad. I loved hanging out with uncle. Yeah. You really was pretty cool. I never got to go on the big um roller coaster Aww. i was always too little Aww. wow there was that long you're the one. biggest one now and now i'm big <laughs> made up for it now we got big lurch over here so i have a couple good vegas stories one of them being um i'm about to put my friends on blast sorry yeah. so um me and my college girlfriends made a trip to vegas and one of my friends she is from Vegas and her husband is also like in the Vegas scene. So he like works in Vegas. Um, and she's like from Vegas, grew up there or she, she grew up there. in Vegas. Her That's dad like works a in unicorn, Vegas. unicorn. I feel like I've, I don't think I've ever met somebody that actually. Yeah. Grew well, up then, in Vegas. Yeah. Or around there. So um, and her dad actually works for one of the hotels and so like she knows a lot of people in vegas i think it's probably like a small scene but she had just started dating her now husband and we were like all meeting him for the first time so we're like all trying to be on our best behavior not show him like our real selves we go to this dinner and it's a really nice dinner like we're looking at the prices and i remember i look over at my friend rachel and i'm like do you want to split a glass of wine (laughs) because we are like really young and really poor so um We are at this dinner and our friend just starts downing dirty martinis. Like she's drinking that like me and Rachel are literally sharing like a little glass and we're like sharing an entree because we didn't know who was paying for this dinner. And like in the case that we're paying for it, like we should probably, you know, not drink what we can afford. Right. And our friend is just 
downing dirty martinis and we're like you and we were also at the pool all day and you know in vegas like you get fucked up in that sun so we're like hey why don't you go upstairs and just like go to bed and she's like fuck you dudes (laughs) i'm not going to bed and we're like i I hate in that moment but like love those types of everyone has had a night like that yeah but like it gets worse (laughs) so um then she like goes to the bathroom and she ends up in the trash room of this place and there's just like a bunch of trash everywhere and she's like oh my god you guys they have dead bodies back there and we're like bitch no they don't it's a fucking trash room go to bed and she would like not go to bed we could not get her to go to bed and so then we go to this club and Leonardo DiCaprio is there and he waves over our friend's boyfriend. He's You're like, oh, shitting hey. me. I and we're like, why have you never told me this story before? I probably have. No, you haven't. But, okay. So, <laughs> 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 so we're like, whoa, who is our friend dating? Like this guy knows people here. And so it kind of like put things into perspective. Like, oh my God, we just went to this dinner that was very nice. And like they paid for it. And now we're like, and the whole time we split one glass of wine. I know, and I was like, I wish I would have gotten at least a glass. Like, oh my God. Um, so we're sitting at this, uh, table next to Leonardo DiCaprio and we all order our drinks like normal human beings. She orders another, the problem child orders another dirty martini and spills it all over her and then waves down the server for another one. And we were like, okay, this is a sign. Yeah, that's a sign. This is a sign. You've had about 17 dirty martinis. It's time to go home. Okay. And so she gets pissed. Like our friend was finally like, dude, go to bed. You're going to ruin all of our nights. Like you're not even fun. Go to bed. And then she gets pissed. She's like, fuck you guys. (laughs) She walks by this server is busting a table of like 20 people. So it's just on this tray, like a bunch of like stacked dishes, stacks of glasses. She flips it. (gasps) On purpose? Yes. Oh my God. And then she's like flipping this off. Yeah, she Teresa Judice yeah. it. And I just look, my friend who like is from Vegas, her face just turns white. And I was like, this is a moment in time that this girl will never get back because things just changed for her. And so we're just like, our night is ruined. We had a table in front of Snoop Dogg at this club. We get there and we're just like not feeling it. Nobody, everyone's pissed because our friend's pissed. And like, literally Leonardo DiCaprio sitting right there and he knows her boyfriend and we're just like this is shitty so we all go to bed we wake up the next morning our friend's like do 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 getting ready packing up is the friend who was the problem child is that the one that lived in Vegas no okay sorry she's from Chicago so um so the next morning she's just like acting like nothing's wrong and we're all like uh the fuck we're like uh honey do you remember what happened last night? And she's like, no, nope. what? <laughs> and we're like, um, our friend's literally never going to speak to you again. She's like, why? When we told her what she did and she's like, so <gasps> like basically oh. it was like, like whatever. And we're like, no, no, no. I don't think you understand. Like you're done. <laughs> <laughs> like you're never coming back here ever again with this. And she was just like, like I don't honey, think you're going home. I think she like l- literally thought that the, It was going to be fine. And then it wasn't fine forever until this day. Like, well, that's just absurd. Yeah. That is so absurd. It's it's one thing if you have a bad night, um, but then the next day has to be the apologies. Oh, my God. You have to be like, you you must repent. Yeah. You must repent your sins in Vegas. Yeah. And because I bet most people, if most people understand everyone has bad nights right so if it's i'm so embarrassed i'm so sorry that i embarrassed you that i that i did this i i understand if you're mad at me please know how sorry i am at least that other friend will probably that friendship will be okay given some time if you don't even if you don't even care it's well because yeah this is my point like if you don't even care to say sorry that is that's some that's That's next level that's something else also if like you you know, I um, have, you know, blacked out and been Bailey with an E. Paige has been Xtina. You know, like there's yeah. those nights where you just kind of like become a different person. Like Jekyll and Hyde. But yeah. there's like no line 
like I'm still like a human on some level, even when I'm Bailey with an E. I would never flip. I don't think I was a human. I but you, you also would never flip. You were self-destructive. The, you weren't like destructive to other people. That's, yeah, that's true. Like, that line to like disrespect the server and all this stuff. Like that's just right. like such a weird line like, to if cross. If she would have like bumped into it and like been stumbling, yeah, that would have been a different story. Because you can't really control your limbs. And if you're just like, oops, but it went, the intention of yeah yeah ooh. that's like a ooh. weird line that i don't yeah. think can cross. Was, was leo like hey, he was like down. jade i remember you from <laughs> fifth grade when you used to say uh make out with your pillow and pretend it was me and do you want to get you married loved jack dawson oh my god Who that was didn't? like that was my sexual awakening besides like jonathan taylor thomas but that's another story for a uh, different speaking day. of jonathan john john <laughs> janet didn't <laughs> Never mind. Okay. <laughs> you also, it. I have one other one that's kind of naughty. Oh, Ooh. God. Okay. Dad, turn it off. Dad, Ew. if you want to turn it off now. <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> Dad, if you don't want to hear something naughty. Ew. Okay. Anyways, that got just weird. Okay. So I was in Vegas for a bachelorette party, as I do. And um, we were at a pool... <laughs> All day, once again. Sounds drinking. like the same story. <laughs> Continue. Um, and so we like are kind of drunk and I'm like, we're going out tonight. And the girls, all the other girls did not want to go out. But like me and like four other girls wanted to go out that night. So we were like, okay, we're going to go out. You guys can stay here. Maybe fucking lame in Vegas, whatever. So we call our promoter. We get cl- tickets to excess, and that's when Chainsmokers was playing, and that's when like Roses came out. So it was just like huge. We were like, "Oh my god, we're going to Chainsmokers." We get there, it was so fucking lame. So I was like, "Okay, look me in the eye, eyes, girls. We're either about to have the best night of our life or the lamest night. So I need you to all pull it together and let's regroup and go with Plan B." So we like all like text promoters that we know, and we get invited to Bank which is this small hip hop club in the Bellagio, which is one of my favorite clubs because it's just always like crazy shit happens there. And I just love it. So we go to bank and the guys greet us at the door and they're like, okay, we're going to take you to this guy's table, which is like normal, but it's just him. And here are the rules of interacting with him. It's like, don't look him in the eye for too long. Like be really, really nice. Be overly nice. Like don't be too pushy with him, but like give him a lot of attention. And we're just like, what the fuck? fuck like i've never had this long of rules to go to a table before usually it's just like be nice and pretend you like to like him so we get there we're delivered to the table and this guy's literally all by himself and he's on business from canada and i guess he's there like every other week and he's loaded like he's literally ordering like ten thousand dollar bottles of champagne over and over and over again like he spent well, maybe not ten thousand, but he his bill was thirty thousand dollars on this. Oh my Sheesh. god! And we're like, he's ordering so much champagne, and you know the girls come out every single time because the champagne he's ordering is so expensive. They do like a presentation every time, and so finally we're just like, can you have the girls start like doing the little card things with our names on it? And so we're like, every time we're like, say it's um, Courtney's birthday, say it's say this, and like the girls were just come out and they're like, okay, fuck you guys. <laughs> And so finally, we're like, okay, what do we do now? And he's like, we're going to Spearmint Rhino, which is one of the biggest strip clubs in Vegas. And it's like, okay, I'm at this point 27. I've never been to a strip club in Vegas. So I'm like, I'm down. So he, we're leaving the club and he gives us all chips and he's like, go cash this out and bring it back to me. And we all have like thousands of dollars in our hands and we're just like looking should at each other run? like, should we run or should we stay? <laughs> Like I could pay my rent <laughs> right now <laughs> for like a couple months. And so we, we'd cash it out and gave it back to him. And we go to Spearmint Rhino and we enter in the back and he's like, you guys stay in here. I'm going to go in first and you do not go in with me. Don't even make anyone think that you're with me. Uh, okay. And we're like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, Sure. Okay, but also, are you still gonna like buy me drinks? Or, yeah, like, and I'm what? like, I'm not going to How Spearmint gonna... Rhino. So we, I just was like, literally along for the ride. Like everyone else, the guys, because the promoters came with us. So then we get delivered to this back room, private back room with like velvet walls and velvet like little um, Ew, velvet. Which, I was gonna say that's so, so unsanitary. Gross. Like think they've never cleaned those walls. Huge everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So we're like sitting there, and we're so all just like. <laughs> And, like, a couple of my friends are, like, genuinely so innocent. Not that I'm, like, not innocent, but I just, like, at least, like, am down. But they were, like, 
not into the strippers and the strippers are like literally all just like straddled on us and but- we're just like sitting there Hi. and i have these huge fake tits in my face and the girl's like literally hairless and i'm looking at her i'm like how are you so smooth like what do you do and she's like i shave and i was like you fucking liar there's no way you shave and you're that you got lasered and you? guess How what much was it? now i don't trust you bitch so <laughs> get to dancing get to dance and so they're ordering the same like ace of spades champagne over and over and over again and this guy starts getting excited by like the innocent ones so like anytime like a girl like turns down another girl he's like hey don't touch her like he was like getting like protective yeah but like in a way he's like me and my girl like and he this girl came up to me and she like offered a lap dance and i was like i'm good and he's like she's good and he like put his arm around me and i was like not like that i know so then um the strippers start getting a little pushy with us and they're like trying trying to dance (laughs) they're like tell him to order another bottle of champagne do you know like how much he's gonna tip like blah, blah, blah. like starting to like work us and i was like listen bitch tonight you work for me oh so wow. get the fuck to work and stop i'm not here to work you're here to work oh wow well, like, do you think i actually said that to the girl no it's like know. okay let me ask hold on and then i was excuse me she wants to know how many <laughs> how many more bottles you're gonna order and then um she also said do you, are you gonna tip no so then me and my friend were like we have to go to the bathroom and then my friend was like it's time to fucking go and i was like you're right and we get out of the club and it's 6 a.m and it was just light outside and we just all were like whoa (laughs) oh no 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 and then we like go and we sit at the food court and we eat pizza and we're just like looking at each other yeah 6 a.m pizza and we were like shame (laughs) shame (laughs) we're like we feel so dirty. We just had the dirtiest night. It was okay, um, Dad. I hope you didn't actually turn it off because know, it's not that it bad. wasn't. It wasn't naughty. It wasn't that naughty. Yeah, Dad. I hope you're still here. No, that is really wild because I feel like that night, so many different turns could have been really bad. Yeah, and we lucked out. So glad you're still. Glad you're still here. Mm-hmm. Glad you're still alive. Um, yeah, it's fucking crazy. Um. The only thing I really have to say about Vegas is one of the times that I went, um, I walked right past Gronk and really? and I was like, whoa, that is a large human being. Yeah. He's big. And he was so nice. He was just like smiley. You were there with me. Was I? Yeah. Um, I mean, you were with me on that trip. I assume you would have been with me at every part of the trip. I don't think <laughs> I don't we know. didn't do anything together, um, especially like with that group you know yeah um but anyways yeah he because we we saw him when we were walking through the casino and that's when i walked right past him because it what took me was holy like that is a a big person and then i looked up and i was like oh i know that person that's gronky that's that's the gronk that's gronk and then we went to a we went to a club and he was at he was like the dj he was like the celebrity dj or something was this when we saw britney or the time before that Honey, they ran together. I don't remember. Okay, we had like a couple baller Vegas trips, and then the group we were with was not very appreciative of the shit we were doing. And I feel like we were. Well, I also think that's because I'm poor, and <laughs> um, and I knew that I would not have this experience unless we were with the group we were with. And I just really, I really appreciated every aspect of it was such a, a memorable time. Yeah. And I remember talk about dinners or something. Um, they, I knew that the dinner was going to be paid for, but someone handed me a wine menu. I know nothing. I, I know I like red wine. That's kind of the extent of my wine knowledge. And they said, Oh, pick a bottle. And I'm looking at the prices of these bottles and it's like $1,200, like $3,000, something like that. And, um, I'm like, um I'm, do you have any friends yeah <laughs> i'm like they're like just pick like just pick one i'm like okay um the like the fifteen hundred dollar one I'm like that's kind of in the middle of these two <laughs> options i don't know and the only the whole time we're at this dinner we ended up getting four of those bottles for the table so four of those bottles and i'm like that was fifteen hundred fifteen hundred times four that's just the wine you know yeah. so that's like where my mind is and then um <laughs> 
also the money thing when the next day we went to we had a cabana at the pool Oh, and okay. so we had to, we already had to pay for the cabana. So that was paid for. So you had to basically meet the limit, like meet what you in drinks yeah. and food. So again, they gave me the menu and they said, we got to, we got to reach $2,000. And I said, <laughs> I said, let's go. I said, we want chicken nuggets. We want french fries. <laughs> And they're like, no, no, no. We want you to order alcohol, and you're like, more chicken nuggets. Yeah, both. Yeah, no, we're we're chicken getting nuggets there. and beer. Please. Um, let's get that fifteen hundred dollar champ uh, wine again. Wayne. 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 No, and it, that that was such a fun time. But I I just remember walking past Gronk, and I was like, whoa. Yeah. It's like my world got dark because he put a sh- cast a shadow over me for a second. Gronk. Gronk. A gronk. So do our fourth brand sisters have any Vegas stories for us? Yeah. Well, we have two Vegas and two travels so we'll see what we do heck yeah all right okay hey girls quick little Hi. vegas story three of my friends and i were there three years ago for a bachelorette trip we had a vip section at the marquee which was a couch on the outside part of the club it was on a roof and the inside was full our couch was near the outside bar and people kept leaning on it and trying to sit on it all night so we kept telling the people to get off we went to dance, and then when we came back, there was a girl and a guy making out on our couch, so we had the security get them off, but they still lingered and leaned against it afterward, and the girl just kept looking at us. That's so weird. We went to dance some more, but one of my friends stayed to make sure it didn't keep happening. When me and my other two friends came back to the couch from dancing, that girl with the guy was still there, leaning on our couch, and she kept staring at us. My friend had said that the girl was staring at her like the whole time we were gone dancing it was super creepy and annoying so i decided to be obnoxious and stare right back at her that would be me mm-hmm. yeah it's like you you want to look at something look, look at, at this me. look at this face we had security remove her again and i waved at her and said bye oh that is me i hate i toxic me. which she was not happy about so she threw her drink at me while she was being <laughs> kicked out of the club <laughs> she got me pretty good <laughs> I threw my drink back at her, too, but she was too far away at that point, and a waitress ended up walking right into it. Oh, no. LOL. Whoops. And then she sent us a picture of her and her friend sitting on the couch. Let me see. I don't know which one she is. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, cute. Oh, fun. Um, I... I don't condone. You would also be annoyed if you and your friends had a couch in a little VIP area. And someone else that you didn't know kept lingering and just leaning or like Making sitting out on it, sitting Freaking, on the back of it. Or so, yeah, like, you would be so annoyed by that. Oh, I would like but you would do something a little more like I would be more like that girl and just a, a bulldog. I'm going to be staring at you until you leave. I'm going to be making you whatever. You would just get really close to her and just like keep scooting over until you accidentally like scoot her off or something. Yeah. <laughs> or I would like literally i'd get like them to remove her yeah and i'd be like isn't it so lame and i would just keep talking about it over and over and over again and everyone would be like shut up yeah she's gone <laughs> it is funny that the writer got she was like yeah she got me pretty good i, I know <laughs> i like that soaked all right next one okay i'm gonna start with some backstory it's the beginning of 2019 my tia spanish for Aunt. 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 Auntie. And I worked together and we're actually friends with several of our coworkers outside of work. Oh, dangerous. We all went to Vegas once a month for like nine months straight that year. Whoa. We lived in high desert in California, up the 15 freeway between Rancho Cucamonga and Barstow. Yikes. So the Rancho dra- Cucamonga Toros? Mm-hmm. No, that's the Rancho Carne Torgo. Toros. We both can't talk. Rancho, Rancho Carne. 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 Um, so the drive to Vegas was only about two and a half hours. Ooh, exciting. Except you have to live in the high desert. My Tia liked to gamble. So we had comp rooms at Park MGM all the time. Nice. nice. I was 24. <laughs> I was about to be 24 and I was single, but I'd sort of been talking to this guy on and off for a couple years, just like flirty and fun because I didn't want to be in a relationship. We were texting this week Toxic. and I knew. And so he knew I was going to Vegas for my birthday. I'll refer to him as Joseph in the story. Oh, Jose this particular story happened in january of 2019 starting the year out with a bang that's when i got tiger (laughs) (laughs) no you didn't yeah january of 2019 
Because he was born in November, and I had to wait till he I was got eight Hank weeks. I February. Yeah, you yeah, got Hank you in got February. Hank a month ago, a month after Paige. Oh wow. Okay. Anyways. Woo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. I'm good. My birthday is January sixteenth. That's almost my birthday too. So we were heading out for the weekend. Vegas nights for us were always so long. We'd start getting ready at eight thirty p.m. Leave the room at nine thirty or ten p.m. Pre gaming the whole way, of course. We'd go to the club until they closed, and then we'd go to an after-hours club that stayed open till like 5 a.m. Finish the morning off with breakfast, and then get back to the room to sleep all day and do it again on Saturday night. Wow. Damn. This Friday was no different, except it did not end with breakfast. Instead, it basically ended my whole trip. I can't remember which club we went to, but when it closed, we headed to Dry's After Hours. Dry's. Dry's. I was very intoxicated at that point and barely remember much, but from what I can remember and from what was told to me by my friends and Joseph, I was very lucky to have made it back to my hotel that night. So, between the drinks, the dancing, and mingling, I remember meeting a guy and hanging out with him and his group of friends at Dreyes. Well, Joseph, Joseph is there. And it's Dreyes. Dreyes. What is it? <laughs> Dreyes. 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 Dracarys. Dreyes. Dreyes. There's an apostrophe. <laughs> it's like Dreyes. It's like Jemay. It's like it's like F M I E. It's like Dreyas. Dreyas. It's like Dreyas. Wait, so <laughs> Joseph's not there. She's just like texting Joseph. Okay, I thought okay. Joseph was there. Um, no, he was there in spirit. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Joseph's always there. She was like hanging out with him and his group of friends at Dreyas. I pretty much ditched my friends. I got to talking with one of the girls from the group and was like having more fun with her than the friends than I was with that guy. Whatever. I got her number and we all left from Vreyes and went back to this guy's apartment. <laughs> this part Vreyes. is the fuzziest for me. I knew I know eventually all the friends left and it was just me and the guy and his cute little dog at his apartment. Again, I really had no interest in him, but he wanted to hook up. I was not down and I don't remember what the conversation was, but the next thing I remember is walking very fast down the middle of the street in the in the apartment complex trying to find my Uber. Scary. All I had was my phone. I left my purse and everything in it mm. and my shoes in the apartment. Oh, my God. I assume I snuck out, like, while he was in the other room or, or just left abruptly because he wouldn't take no for an answer. Ooh, it's scary that you don't remember that part. <laughs> no judgments, but... No, it's just that's scary. That's pretty fucking scary. We've all been there. All I remember is I was terrified it wasn't going to make it back to my hotel because my phone was on 3% and I couldn't find my Uber and I was screwed. My Tia kept calling and texting me and calling and texting Joseph, trying to figure out where it was. I was ignoring the calls and texts. So because Joseph was there. No, he's not. I'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> but she knew that she had where been... where the fuck was Joseph? <laughs> she knew that the emailer had been, like, texting and Snapchatting Joseph, like, all okay, night. Okay, keep going. All right. Um, I kept ignoring the calls and texts because I did not want my phone to die before I found my Uber. After this, my memory is... My next memory is literally standing in the hotel lobby waiting for the elevator doors to open up to go to my hotel room. When they opened, my tea was standing there in the elevator. Thank God. It was like a movie scene. I was so happy to see her. I got back to the room and charged my phone. I called Joseph to let him know I was okay, and I sweet talked him into driving to Vegas right then and there because what? I wanted to see him. Toxic. Wow. Keep in mind, this is all on the same night, so it was like 5 a.m. at this point. It took Joseph two and a half hours to get to the hotel, and I fell asleep. He had to sleep in his car in the parking garage for a couple hours before my tia woke up and saw the text that he was there. Um, he came up to the room and we went back to sleep and woke up in the morning. Um, blah, blah, blah. Joseph literally saved my whole weekend. Remember, I left my purse at this loser's place, so I had no ID, no debit cards. I had nothing I needed to do Vegas. Joseph took me to the apartments to see if maybe the guy turned my stuff into the leasing office or something, and I called that girl whose number I got, but no luck. She ended up not even knowing that guy. So that night, when all my friends went out, again, Joseph and I went to a lounge at the Paris Hotel and listened to live music, and then went back to my room and watched movies. Heart. From this weekend on, Joseph and I started talking more and more, and in the summer, I mean September of 2019, he invited me to San Francisco for with him and his family to go to a Giants baseball ball game baseball <laughs> sports <laughs> to go to a sports game in san francisco and as we were leaving the stadium he asked me to be his girlfriend oh we had been happily together for three years and bought a house together in arizona last wow. year i'm really glad september of 2019 was better for you than it was for me <laughs> <laughs> it was peak bad for it was page peak bad for me um wow that was 
wild and also i'm really glad you're safe and whatever happened to your purse <laughs> yeah i guess she probably didn't know which apartment it was like she knew the apartment complex and in this life there are just some purses that are not meant to stay with you oh yeah okay well it's not about the purse it's about the items I know, in the purse i know i know and the i and the purse is not meant to stay with you and neither are the items neither is everyone, that debit card everyone needs to go through the anxiety and the anguish why the of losing. fuck does everyone need to do that <laughs> <laughs> tell me why why does everyone need so to you go through learn that anxiety? when you're in mexico on a bachelorette party and you lose your entire purse that next time you'll keep it on your body just talking from experience okay and she needs to keep that purse on her body yeah and I bet that never happens to her again and the yeah. shoes on her feet honestly that happened to me twice in one year um i got my purse stolen and i got it stolen in mexico okay it just sounds like a you thing <laughs> it was a sh- an, an, a series of unfortunate events it was 2018 i got divorced that year so it was just like i lost two purses and a husband <laughs> <laughs> big year but i don't i just don't think that's like everyone needs to go through this experience <laughs> it's like no they don't <laughs> like they really don't yeah you're right yeah. Well, holy moly but i'm glad you're i was about to say you were kind of mean to joseph but like i'm glad you guys are together so it's like it's almost one of those things where it's like you needed that yeah in your relationship you needed because joseph is the nice guy and you, you needed, I'm glad you finally got to the point where you knew you needed Joseph. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to remember that everyone needs a nice guy. That's it's hard. True. It's really hard. It's really hard. You Why know what you else I'm is still hard? Single? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to, I'm going to move on. <laughs> this, this is, Why? You're what? our older sister. Grow our up. oldest sister the other you're the biggest the- sister <laughs> <laughs> i love when people are like my big sister my biggest sister yeah well because i'm bailey's oldest. big sister but you're the her biggest <laughs> but that's true and in more like, ways than one i'm her older sister but you're her oldest sister <laughs> right Got to differentiate. And you guys are always going to be my little sister i'm the, the tiniest little i can't even say it like in any way that's like not giving you guys compliments my younger sisters my little sisters my tiny baby sisters baby so small i don't think i've ever called bailey my baby sister no but i've definitely said that bailey is the The typical baby baby of the family oh bailey is the baby yeah i'm the baby but i'm not your baby sister i'm not like oh bailey's my baby (laughs) baby come here baby bailey you guys did call me baby bailey we did but that was more of an insult yeah <laughs> Wait, it was we'd be like baby bailey baby bailey because she'd always cry to mom all the time she's the biggest fucking cry baby i've ever seen in my life she was just like so attached to mom from such like from day one and then when she started kind of getting some independence oh my sisters seem kind of cool we're like, like no. baby bailey and then she just cried no once she showed interest in us we were like no get out yeah get out of our room wait and then he broke my arm yeah bailey was obsessed with rugrats so we're like bailey bailey would come into the room when Paige and i were in (laughs) she just couldn't even walk and Paige and I would be playing Barbies and we're like, no, because Bailey would just fuck it up. She would destroy the entire Paige, community that we had set up. <laughs> Paige and I were just trying to make we our a sophisticated backstory. We did. And we had like our Barbies were about to like have sex and stuff. And we were like, this girl's going to ruin our little porn community we have going on. So we're like, Bailey, get out. <laughs> And we're like mom can you get bailey and she's like no, no. let her play <laughs> let her play and so we like, like i need a break from bailey too we'd be like bailey rugrats are on and then bailey would like like get all she excited would oh, away. We'd literally shut the door and pile Stack shit the barbie boxes on top of yeah. it so she couldn't push it back open it's like mm. what i do to hank hank you want to go and then he like runs out of the door and i like <gasps> lock the door that's sad no just in my room he's still in the apartment oh you don't actually abandon him <laughs> yeah stupid animal <laughs> um also you guys broke my arm because i was trying to get okay to the- relax that I was think- an accident well first of all 
I broke your arm twice and And it was an accident all two times. Right. Well, one time I was like playing with the um the ladder. Well, it's because you didn't want yeah, to. Yeah, you were shaking we were the ladder. So <laughs> I was shaking get the off. ladder so she wouldn't You're trying to shake me off and I was <laughs> holding on for dear life. Why your barb is laying on top of each other, guys? <laughs> it's actually so traumatic. <laughs> you shook Bailey off the ladder. <laughs> She was climbing up my bunk bed <laughs> ladder, and I took the ladder, and I was shaking it <laughs> to get her off, and then she fell off and broke her arm, and we were like, shit, <laughs> we're going to be in so much trouble. Even now, you started off, oh, I was just playing with the ladder. <laughs> we were, I remember being like, Bailey is so annoying, she's crying now, <laughs> like, I was Bailey like, always cries. <laughs> I wasn't even like concerned about her, which I should have been, but I was more concerned about how pissed mom was going to be at me. And she was, she was so pissed. Oh, yeah. She broke my arm. <laughs> wasn't mom not even home at the time? <laughs> like, dad. <laughs> That's even better because dad would have no idea what to do. And dad just like looking at this broken arm. He's like, hey, let's wait till mom comes home. <laughs> let's wait. Let's let's rip some dirt in it and see if yeah. that that's like come her on. arm is like clearly it, deformed like, Suck it. <laughs> he's like come on get up there on that top bunk <laughs> jade let her up there <laughs> oh god good times the trauma hey email us and tell us about when you broke your siblings limbs <laughs> <laughs> on accident Ooh. all right do you guys want another story mm-hmm. okay are you okay all right. Wait, what's the time on this? One fifteen. Hi. Should we save? What are the, these? Hi, ones hi. are both like out of the country stories. Maybe we should out save them. Out of the box. Out of the box. I, we save can them. save them. Okay. Because um, we're already at one hour and fifteen minutes. Wow, time just flew by. Look, I'll be real honest. Um, I didn't see you press the record button, so I got really scared. <laughs> I saw you that, look over um, at that. And that's not something that wouldn't happen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so should next week, should we have the listeners write in about Thanksgiving? So then you can, so this would happen the week of Thanksgiving. It would be released the week of Thanksgiving. Okay. So then you guys can enter Thanksgiving week like with some Thanksgiving inspo. So we have some really good stories about how family members have completely ruined our Thanksgivings. Or uh-huh. our dogs have ruined Thanksgiving. And our dogs have ruined Thanksgiving. We can get into that next week. Yeah. So maybe you guys write in and let us know how a family member has ruined Thanksgiving for you. Yeah. Or maybe you ruined Thanksgiving. Or you can say something that you're um, grateful for, like not having those family members on Thanksgiving. Ruin Thanksgiving. Or, you know, if you just want to be really nice, you can just say what you're thankful for for Thanksgiving. Oh, and yeah. if it's your poor dad, then maybe you should also maybe write that on Soldier Field's Instagram and say, I am thankful for your poor dad. You know what? Pot that would be. Your, 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 your. <laughs> oh my God. You, you said did not. Let's let's make this one. We don't have to edit. No, it's <laughs> burping into the microphone. Was, she's not going to edit that out. I'm not. You, and that was a good burp. I didn't like it. You have really a, I like, double standards annoying for you burps. Yeah. Also, <laughs> like, remember when we first started this and you're like, Bailey's going to be burping into the microphone all the time. <laughs> I uh, freaking never have. This is my second Onda. Onda. Wow. Thank you guys so much for listening to Your Poor Dad. <laughs> if you guys could just do us a favor and make sure to what, like. To what? Yeah, tell them. Come on, Jade. Tell, tell them what, to what do. you want them to do. Right into us. Maybe you have a question for me or, or Paige or Bailey. And you or guys, dad. Oh, and also start writing in your questions for our dad because when we're home for Thanksgiving, we're going to be doing an episode with our dad. Mm-hmm. And make sure to follow us, like us, subscribe, review us. Do Get us all some more things. stepsisters. Get us more stepsisters. The best thing you could ever do is just share the podcast with your friends, which a yeah. lot of you do, and I really appreciate it. And I think they do, too. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. I think Jade just got drunk. I did. <laughs> okay, bye. See you next time. Bye. bye.